What's going on everybody? It's that boy Savage here and today we are back in another Cold War video before we hop into the gameplay If you guys wouldn't mind, please take a moment to subscribe and turn on notifications Be And just let me know how you guys' day going if you guys are just having fun if you guys are something's going right if something's going wrong I really want to hear about it because I absolutely just like love hearing what like what everybody's doing what everybody enjoys like Doing it for fun, if you guys are just hanging out with friends, doing something you really enjoy, please let me know down below in the comment section because I really just love hearing what everybody has to say. But today, we are going to be using a gun that I feel like just is a little bit better than the DMR. I, I feel like it was even better or it was over or outshined by the DMR-14 before it got its big nerf. And I will be showing my class setup at the end of the video, so please make sure you guys are sticking around to the end of the video. It really just does mean a lot to me. I, I, I feel like I don't say that enough, where just like if people are coming and just like watching this video for a minute or two, or just like three minutes or five minutes, I just want to say thank you because it really just, oh, okay, this is what we love, but it really does mean the world to me. I, I try to put my heart and my soul and my, into the videos I make, and sometimes, I, I know I can definitely see, like, some people, oh, okay, that's, that's great, he's literally just camping right there, but I, I do try to put my heart and my soul into this, and I feel like I do that for the most part, and is he, okay, what? Thank you, teammate. Okay, I was gonna say, I only needed one more shot to kill him right there, and let me guess. Oh, wow, somebody's... Okay. Come on, push me, push me. Come on. You know you want to. Okay, screw this. Bro, why are you sitting in the corner with a shotgun, though? Like, why? What makes that fun? Okay, there's that. I probably should have put on the barrel that increases the fire rate with this gun. That's, yeah... That is actually, when I show my class setup, that is kind of one little complaint that I have for myself is really, okay. Um, no, he did not because I'm running the 210 scope on this gun, but yeah, I just, I feel like the Type 60 or yeah, the Type 63, I almost called it the Type 25, but I feel like the Type 63 is a little bit better it, than the DMR, I would say. In my personal opinion, it was better than the DMR-14 before the nerf and after the nerf. I, I just didn't... I don't know why. I just... Okay, that... This was a really... That's that's a nice head glitch, my guy. I mean, I'll give him credit. I hated dying to that, but that was kind of a good head glitch. I've, I've never seen somebody, like, actually try to... S what? Okay, that was that was terrible, and you're still there, and I just two shot at you, haha. -ha. But yeah, I just I feel like the Type 63 just had it had it all going for it. Just the fire rate, the damage. To obviously, the the fire rate, the normal base fire rate is nothing to write home about. But if you add a barrel that increases the fire rate on this gun, it just turns it into an absolute beast of a weapon. Okay, I, I, w I really wanted to play that smart because I wasn't sh- Okay, that- Oh, that was- that was stupid. I shouldn't have pushed that at such low health. Okay, teammates got him. I want to just- wait. Wait, I don't get why you can't do that. Like, why you can't, like, destroy the trophy systems. Like, you can, like, a, tr like a trophy system or a field like that. That- I, it kind of makes, like, no sense to me, though. Wait. Okay. Okay, I don't have Spycraft on. I I so I usually have Spycraft on my class setups because most of the times I prefer running Perk Greed over Gunfighter for certain guns. The Type 63, I feel like you can make it work with just five attachments, but if you want to run Gunfighter, it definitely does not hurt it whatsoever, but I feel like there's just like some attachments that you need to, for this gun just to make it really good. But, okay, wait, okay, we're going, wait. Of course, oh, okay, I forgot him. I'm so used to running tack mask and flak jacket because I, I mean, I usually only ran engineer because I was going for my, okay, get off that head glitch and you're right here. Okay, wait, is, oh, are you kidding me? Okay, 
That's funny. I literally saw his teammate too. That's that's what made it even more funny is I saw his teammate and I was about to go after him. Okay, get rid of that trophy system. No lie. I have a, I have I feel like the trophy system is more OP than the than the field mic in this game just because of the fact it counters, which I, I don't know why Treyarch had it has it like that where I don't think it's okay, I wanna get rid of that Sam turret. Okay, got him. Okay, I'm okay, I'm gonna back off like kind of Okay, yeah, we was, oh, okay, that was just terrible aim with the Diamati right there, but, yeah, I really wanted to just, like, rotate right there, so I wasn't just, like, being predictable and taking the enemies on from just, like, one predictable angle that they could see me at, and, yeah, okay, are they, s I have a, okay, I, I have a feeling I'm gonna, okay, yeah, that's why flak, or not flak jacket, tack mask is really important in this game, because, there has been so many times where I've died on a streak just because somebody managed to rip. Okay, that was terrible aim right there. But there has been just so many times where I've died on a streak because somebody tosses a flashbang and I just like it. Basically, it's almost like portable quicksand because it's like it stops you where you're at. And I get it; it's a stun grenade, and it just slows you down. It doesn't like obscure your view or anything, but just. The fact that it slows you down is just the biggest killer in this game. Like, okay, if you're standing still, you're basically more likely to die in this game, I feel like. Is he still on the tank? Okay, I can't get him from that angle. Okay, okay, they are going to push him from this way. And is he, I don't think he's on the tank anymore. Okay, and I have a feeling somebody's going to push through that door. Or they're up here. Got him. Got him. Okay. Wait, okay, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, he was using the Type 63. For some reason, I thought he was using the Howler. I don't know why, like, ah, just in Modern Warfare, the 725 in that game looked almost like the Car 98 in the kill feed, and I feel like it's kind of the same thing here. I mean, they're kind of, kind of different, but they're kind of similar. I usually mistake the Type 63 for the Howler in the kill, kill feed. Okay, so, yep, somebody's going to push through there. I have a feeling I'm going to get absolutely destroyed right here. I'm just calling it right now. Okay, I'm alive somehow. Wait, I'm already on a bloodthirsty? Wait, okay, where'd this guy go? Did he did he push around or did okay. He pushed over this way. Okay, I got him before I died. Um Okay, I wanna call in these streaks real quick and then I'm going okay, I'm gonna wait for that to sweep once. They're back here. Are they okay, you're right there. Why? Okay, that was terrible aim, but I still got okay. Wait. Uh, wow, that's literally the best spawn ever, and I'm an idiot because I, I wasn't looking over there. I was just looking to see who was going to come from around the other side of the rock. Okay, they're still up here. How did you not get him, teammate? Like, that, I mean, he was right there. I mean, maybe he was reloading. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, okay, okay. I'm out. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm completely dead. Okay, I'm alive somehow. And, wow, I called it. I called it. Okay, there. There, he's using the howler. Yeah, I just, I don't know why, for whatever reason, it just seems to be like I get the Howard confused for the Type 63, and I actually hope I am, I think I'm recording? Uh, I'm gonna be really mad if I'm not recording this, because, like, I'm, like, the worst feeling I get is, like, when I make a video, and I forget to turn my mic on, and then it's like, okay, I just made this video basically for nothing. I mean, I had fun, but, like, I would have loved to have gotten it on wait okay we're just somehow absolutely just slaying out type 63 that just goes to show how good this gun is even without a barrel that increases okay oh wait wait wait, wait. where's the fourth Where's the fourth come on come on are you no that... oh wait oh uh, wait did i get direct impacted with a semtex i think i did oh that that would have been nice if i actually got that quad feed right there just uh my potato aim kicked in right there for yeah, just my potato aim kicked in right there, and I wasn't able to get the fourth, and, okay, you're right there. Um, okay, okay. I was going to try to go for him, but, yeah, that is going to be it for the gameplay section of this video. Please make sure you guys are sticking around to the end of the class setup. With that, I will see you guys in the class setup. All right, for the Type 63 today, I ended up running the Vision Tech 2x scope because on Crossroads, you really do need an optic, but you don't re need a really long one, long range optic. You could probably end up running just any other red dot sight that you wanted. But for the muzzle today, I'm running the KGB Eliminator because 
I really want that vertical recoil control, the muzzle flash concealment. And it's not really just the main reason I ran it, but it, it is a helpful perk. I will give it that. So for the barrel today, I use the 21.5 Task Force barrel because I want that damage, that plus 9% in the damage, as well as the effective damage range. The bullet velocity, again, it's another just helpful, helpful perk that it gives this gun. But something else I would rec I could recommend you running is the either the 16.4 titanium barrel just for that increase in the fire rate yes it does have um minus 25 percent in the effective damage range or you could run the strike 18.3 strike team barrel which is almost like the titanium barrel except it's got plus nine in the nine percent of the damage and plus 11 percent in the fire rate as you guys can see but those are two alternatives you could run instead of the task force barrel and for the handle today, I am running the Serpent Wrap because I want to be able to aim down sights as fast as I can and just be able to just laser people as fast as I can, just snapping onto targets and not having to like get slowed down by that slow aim down sight time. But, and for the stock today, I am running the KGB pad. I'm so used to calling it the Raider pad, but the reason I'm running the KGB pad today is because of the sprint to fire time mainly. The aim walking movement speed is a really big plus, but I really like having that sprint to fire time where I'm not just like getting slowed down by aiming down sights and then having to wait a little bit after to actually start shooting. But yeah, that is going to be it for my class setup. I just want to say thank you. Thank you guys to whoever made it to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys.